and gentlemen, at this point in time, we will be interviewing another group of uh, officers and warriors coming from foreign country. And sir, good morning, I'm ready to have a on the pair of Channel 47, followed by CCTN, and our television is here with one. Our uh, special guest of Sports Shorts at Channel 47 uh, came from yeah, Luxembourg. Luxembourg. The new bus president of Vita. Yes. My name is Raul uh, Janissi for Luxembourg Grand Master, represent La Pugia Isa Banifo. And uh, this is my student group. I'm also here for the competition and uh, support here all the sports and uh, anistadors. Master here of La Punti, Cebu, uh, also Grand Master Greg Hansen, uh, we work strong together and also we support us to uh, develop the international uh, Filipino martial arts. And uh, I'm a student uh, from uh, Grand Master, Supreme Grand Master Noka Bunai from Abango, Kisa. Five years we studied together. Uh, also, as a Jude, he uh, represents and he do good work in the uh, Philippines. We also come regularly to Europe to help to promote the Filipino martial arts international. And also, Greg Hansen do so many work here in Cebu. And also, international to promote the Filipino martial arts sport.
what's your impression about this type of steel pipe? Uh, do you consider this is a very powerful type of vessel? Is that your observation? Is that what you see? If it may, this, I, this, I, I think it's like you said, it's sports. It's sports. Sports. This is sports. sports. Oh, if you it's, see, the, it's to promote it's fun. the real fight. Before it was a, it was a big match. Oh, it's more of killing people. Every, you know, the grandmasters and the champions can deliver the sticks uh, more than 100 times per minute. So when you are being castigated, the master is all the bombardment coming from the stick fighter, showing it to the hospital or the cemetery. If it is not as far. I prefer that style of fighting. This is also, also what we promote uh, international uh, to security companies to show also and also to make some training guides to uh, people can learn what is real Filipino martial arts, what is inside. We use it also in fighting, of course, but also to learn uh, about uh, protection, security, and all the professional use is in Europe. Uh, internationally, they use this uh, Filipino martial arts uh, very well, and we. Uh, Sport is one thing. This is also important for promotion and also give people fun to have uh, sports uh, uh, experience and this is good for the, uh, uh, the development about uh, international uh, art. But besides, we make seminars, we make we teaching this also the real uh, martial arts. It's very important. Uh, first, the Filipino martial arts in the real, one of the best Filipino uh, in the world. It's very good martial arts. And uh, that's also we uh, in Europe and also uh, international. We make uh, up courses, we teaching, and we teach uh, uh, and safe also. This very important safe the art. Don't uh, die too much in sports. Uh, that's why we protect it also. Uh, be uh, very strong. Uh, so you are promoting our goodwill yeah. for this type of martial uh, arts. Promoting uh, friendship in the Italy, friendly. and spreading the Philippine culture as well, yeah. and encouraging people to come back to the Philippines so they can also uh, not just do martial arts but uh, tourism, they can look at, uh, and meet so many people and can feel the love of the Philippines. I see. And then, uh, uh, you know, when you know all these things, instead of using bullets, instead of using machine guns or arm alive, uh, AK-47, just use this thing and people but not this is the gym. Oh, but it's still easier to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell you about something. Yeah. Uh, 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 this is my friend. Uh, uh, oh, that's uh, thanks to give us the possibility to have a uh, uh, talking, give some information. And, uh, okay, uh, I'm also now the next uh, vice president for Vikram. The election was yesterday and uh, uh, we work for the future all together to help to develop and to make uh, the gap uh, stronger internationally. If people are possibly to have uh, also to have another level about this motivation, we do our best to put our experience inside. Okay, uh, Pansnay, what is your impression about Cebu and the people of Cebu? People are Cebu, very friendly people. Uh, I stay a long time here. When I come in 1993 to Cebu, I stay five years and uh, live here with uh, Shubhagana Stone and Abnai, and I have a uh, chance to get a good in, uh, in the culture and also in the culture of uh, in Cebu, the Filipino. And uh, it is a uh, very uh, friendly, uh, of course. Also, yeah, also we, we, we are foreigners, but we also must respect. <laughs> then we have come to respect back. I think uh, we have a nice paradise, we have a nice uh, uh, island around, and uh, the sea, and uh, this is uh, what is uh, beautiful for Philippines, the sun and this, but uh, we like also the, the, the culture, the country. That's why also we uh, invest our energy to promote it internationally to say it also a part of your culture is this Philippine market. Okay. Your mission today is very
Yeah. I'm Jesse Marquez from Team USA, representing um, Team Pima Academy under Guru Don Cuesta. Okay, uh, I understand I'm seeing you fighting. What was that uh, category? I won gold in padded stick um, against someone from Team Philippine Army. Philippine Army? Yeah. And then, uh, another fight. Uh, I think you also join another event. Uh, stick up or uh, what? Oh, I'll, later I'll be doing single oh, stick fighting. I see. And at the same time also uh, be part of the uh, committee of judging. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, this is my first year judging for the world tournament. Okay. But yes. it's nice to see there's so many really good fighters from around the world. Okay. How young are you? I'm 18 years old. Is this your first time in Cebu? No, this is my third time in Cebu. Uh -huh. What's your impression about this tournament? This is the biggest tournament, the world tournament I've seen since I've started competing. And it's there's more people here than I've seen any time I've been at Cebu. I see. And then um, will you continue fighting all the rest of your uh, life as long as as long as I'm able, I'm going to be fighting. Uh -huh. Your dad is also what? Part of this committee here? Yeah, my, my dad is Big John Marquez and he's judging today. I see. Okay, overall, uh, what do you think of the overall uh, delegation that will come out victorious? In your observation, although the tournament will continue for the, last, for the next three days, right? Yeah. Team Philippines is very strong. I think it's going to be close between Team Philippines and Team USA. I see. 
So beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank Jeff. you for your victory and more power to you. Thank you. Any message for the Filipino and to all delegates? Um, it's such a pleasure seeing all the strong delegates here today and for this whole tournament. And I wish everyone the best of luck. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, sir.